Zoe here. Today I'm going to be trying out a new palette and this is a YouTube Make Me Buy It palette. So I was watching Courtney KH who I have done a collab with before and I'll put her up in the cards so that you can see that if you wish. So I saw her doing a review on a You Can Be palette and it was this Living Coral one. And when she opened it up I thought that looked so pretty because these colours just speak spring to me and we're in spring right now in New Zealand so these were spring colours to me and also I had been looking into whether I wanted to get the um, Baby Got Peach palette from Colourpop or not and um, I'd done um, duping that palette which I'll put in the cards as well so you can see that and what I came up with and, and what I thought and um, probably a little bit of a spoiler but I liked a little bit more variety than just peach for spring so um, I'm going to do a look with this palette and see what I think of it and um, whether it was uh, worth me buying it <laughs> so the first colour I'm going to go into I'm actually going to go into this yellow here first and this one is called Fairy On the inner corner, so I have primed my eyes, but I haven't set the base. So it's quite dark yellow. It it looks almost mustard, but it's a very bright mustard. And that's going on pretty well. It's a bit powdery, but that's okay because I haven't done the rest of my face. And I'm just brush off some of the excess from the edges there but then I, will, I am using a packing brush I am packing it on quite a lot a little bit patchy on the side I don't want to stick this yet and then I'm going to go in with this dark green here I love wearing yellows and greens and peaches in the spring. I like wearing those colours all the time, but especially in spring, they speak spring to me, those colours. And I'm going to go in the middle of those, I'm going to go into this colour, oops, I just stuck my thumbnail on one of them, into this colour here called Coral. I don't know why this one's called Coral, because it's green, but whatever. <laughs> Definitely use a pack and swipe motion to get that one on. Probably work better with my finger. Yep. So I tried the um, Magic Spell palette as well, which is a You Can Be one. And same thing, the colours are just, um, just a bit more subtle. And the shimmers are less subtle, they're not in your face ones. So if you like a much more natural look and not tons and tons of colour, then I would say these palettes will suit you. Personally, I think I like a bit more colour, but um, they do make a really lovely subtle look. So that's what I'm going to do on the lid. And then in the crease, I'm going to go in with this one here called Brown Sugar which doesn't look like brown sugar. This one's called Saffron, which to me is more that colour. And this one should be brown sugar. It's like they came up with names of them, and then somewhere along the line, someone just decided to swap all the names around. Because none of them actually... Well, a lot of them don't actually fit the colours in there. I, I won't say none of them, but some of them are like, well, why did they call it that? <laughs> So, um, anyway, I'm going to go into brown sugar, which is the light peach. That brush is too big. I want a smaller brush. Because I've got small eyes. I can 
probably use this palette quite well with my orange palette. The orangey glad palette from Colourpop because this one's got some high impact oranges in it. You can't open it. <laughs> it doesn't want to open. So it's got some high impact oranges and things. And you'd get that brighter pop. But all these colours work really well together. I just would like a little bit more pigmentation out of it. They build up, but only to a certain point. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush again. I don't need to clean. And I'm going to go into Hunting, which is this one here. And put that here. That matches my headband very well. <laughs> Those two colours are pretty together. They work well together. So they're very easy to blend together because you're not working with really harsh pigment. So you can be as cruelty free. It's got a 12 month life on the back of the palette. So that's all good. And I think I want to blend it out with Vertigo, which is just kind of a taupey brown colour. And I want to go in with a small brush again. And I'm going to go into, I'm going to try Potter's Clay first, but I might end up in the darker one, which is this And I want to put that in my crease. I am going to go to do the same the outer area because it's not dark enough for the outer area. You do get some good depth there with those colours because the other colours aren't too overpowering. I'm going to go back into Sicily which is the dark green. And just because I want to try a different colour, I had to blow off my palette because it had tons of fallout but it I can't show you now because I blew it all off, it blew off really easily. I'm going to go into Tea Party here. And I want to try a bit of that there. I don't know why I keep trying to use my brush with these colours. <laughs> it really did nothing. Over that. This is why I don't like using my finger because I haven't got the control. So I'm, like, I've gone completely over the green, which is not what I wanted to do. I'm going to try using a um, one of these glitter and pigment applicators from Essence, so it's not a brush, it's like a silicon type thing. And I'm going to go back into Coral, which was the shimmery green, so I can have a bit more control about where that colour is going. Because I didn't want to cover it all up, it just happened that way because my finger wouldn't I don't have control over my finger. I'm going back into t yeah, It works. It works with one of these brushes, so that's good. That's what we're working on at the moment. And I think I'm going to try and go in with this Lifted, which is this really interesting colour. I hope it'll focus on there so you can see it. It's got big kind of chunks in it. No, it's maybe I won't because it is definitely a glitter. I thought it was more like this one, which is just a shimmer with chunks in it. But when you swatch that one, it just goes into a shimmer. But that's that's a glitter. That is definitely a glitter with big it's got hearts. It's got little hearts. I don't know if you're able to see that, but it's got little chunks of glitter and glitter hearts, so I won't go in, in a corner with it after all because that's not what I want to do. Maybe I will go in with Wake, which is this one, for my inner corner. That's a really pretty pink. It's kind of, it's not really pink actually, it's more, it's more peach. It's very light. Got a goldy peach kind of reflect. Yeah, I'll attempt 
to do a swatch for you. I don't know whether it'll show up because on my skin, it's very much like my wrist, but I can't really see it. Now. Okay, I've done it. Is it sharp any better? No. Maybe it'll show up better on my hand. Shows up better on my hand. I can see it in real life, but see it looks quite pink there. And then it gets the shine on it. You can see a bit of yellow yellow peachy colour. To me, it's a very peachy pink with a pinky gold reflex. If that makes any sense. But it's it's very me colour. <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. If you know me, yellow oranges and peaches and stuff are, are my thing, so it's a very neat colour. So even though I was saying you can't really build up the colour that much, it is quite colourful. I'm not sort of saying, oh, I should have more colour there. Yeah, it looks it looks nice. But it's it's a subtle but it's still nice. If you know what I mean. It's not so subtle that I can't see it. So it's keeping the colour in me happy but it's not really in your face. So if you're a bit worried about using really in the face colour then maybe this brand might suit you because you can get the colour without it being too scary. <laughs> That's probably what I was doing. Let's put the rest of my face on and then I'll come back. So here is where I'm at. So um, I used my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and this was in the shade Nude Beige for my foundation today and I used my Butter Bronzer in Sunkist and my Focal Raw Blush it's called Glitz and I used the Jewel Light Highlighter from BH Cosmetics and I used this one to take it off as my highlighter and then on my eyes I've tight lined with my Essence Black and I did my bottom eyeliner with the Colourpop one in pink. And now I'm going to go in with a little brush and go back into that fairy shade here. And I'm just going to go over that eyeliner just to kind of set it in place. And then I want to go into, oh, I've got some powder in my eye. <laughs> I'm going to tea party here and see if I can pick any of that up on the brush to smudge out underneath. Yeah. So it's working for the because I didn't need a lot of it packed on, I just needed a bit to smudge out at the bottom there. And I think I want to do a brown liner. I, I don't think I will use this one because I can't sharpen it anymore and it, it doesn't have a tip on it. So hang on, I need to find my other brown liner. So I've got my other brown liner. I haven't used this yet. Just opened it. Just warming it up a bit on my hand. And this is the Wet n Wild Coal Pencil in Simmer Brown Now. Okay. And I brought this pencil quite a while ago before all the controversy with Wet n Wild. This pencil is quite hard. It's not really working that well for me. <laughs> My other one was a Maybelline one. I'm just going to have to go back to the other one because the Wet n Wild one's not actually drawing at all. Well maybe it just doesn't want to go over that eyeliner. Or maybe it's not the pencil. Maybe it just doesn't like going over that eyeshadow because I'm having trouble with this one too and I don't normally have trouble with this one. Interesting. They didn't want to draw on top of that at all. And you got a little bit on there. So I'm just going to go in with 
the desert sands that go around there. And just go over that so that I can see that. <laughs> the eyeliner just didn't want to work over those eyeshadows. I am ready to do my mascara. So I'll do that and come back. And there is my final look. I went in with my Ultra 3 lipstick in Soft Toffee. And um, what did I think of this palette? I, I quite enjoyed it. It wasn't as pigmented as I would like, but it's an everyday palette. I think it worked really well. It, um, like it has impact. It just wasn't as bright when I was putting it on as I thought it would be. But it has that um, slightly dulled kind of colour that sort of that actually muted is the word I'm looking for. Slightly muted colouring, which actually suits my colouring really well. So I do like the palette. I would have liked a bit more pigmentation, but I still really like the palette. So. And that's all for me today, and I will see you next time. Bye.